For thousands of years, the California condor soared along the Pacific coast, and the cliffs, canyons, grasslands, and forests of the American West. This largest flying land bird in North America once ranged from Mexico to Canada. These majestic creatures play an integral part in Native American mythology and were described by explorers Lewis and Clark as the beautiful buzzards of the Columbia. Lewis and Clark's core of discovery had opened the West to a tide of migration. But the rapid influx of settlers, miners, ranchers, and farmers almost immediately began to upset a natural balance that had been in place for thousands of years. California condors are very long-lived. They live about the same length as humans, 60 or 70 years, and they breed very slowly, one chick every two years. So they're uniquely susceptible to anything in the environment that might kill adults. Now, early, early on after the settlers first arrived, the settlers were killing a lot of pest species, and they would use poison. And when the condors came along and ate from the carcasses, they would become poisoned and die also. And then later on, as you get into the early to mid-1900s, uh, power lines started to appear in the environment. Uh, condors can fly into power lines, they can land on power lines and become electric by the power lines. Um, also, as uh, people started to use high-velocity, high-power ammunition in rifles, um, those bullets fragment when they hit the carcass of an animal. And when a condor eats that carcass, they pick up the lead fragments, and they can die of, of, of that kind of uh, poisoning. By the mid-20th century, there were less than 100 condors left alive in the wild. Even though it was protected in 1967, the California condor population continued to decline until in 1982, there were only 22 individuals in the wild. The decision was made by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and our partner organizations that we had to bring them in and start a captive breeding program. And by Easter Sunday, 1987, the last California condor was brought in from the wild. Once the last condor was taken into captivity, the California condor was extirpated from the wild and there were no more wild California condors. With the last wild condor in captivity, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and their partners turned their focus to breeding birds in order to build big enough populations for release. But they had a long road ahead before the California condor could soar once again. <laughs> 